of jail. Your boy's out of jail, man. Oh my gosh. Y'all, it's been a long, long, what, about a week, two weeks? I've been off YouTube. Let me give you a quick breakdown. I'm just give you a quick breakdown. We're gonna get straight into the video. Just hear me out. Now look, I was on the ground, posting every single day, posting every day. So I'm thinking, okay, I got a good promotion coming in my way. They offered me some good money, blase, blase, blase. I got, uh, I got had, dude had me, it wasn't a real promotion. He had me for, well, about a week. I gave up, made a whole new channel. I just, bro, I was, man, I was going through it. And then I got back on YouTube and I was banned for a week. I had a strike on my channel and I couldn't post for a week. So it's been chaos, man. But before we get into the video, man, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. I'm ready to hear some truth. I've been hearing about this Kevin Gates situation. Hey, look, we here for the truth, baby. You feel me? I have not watched the video yet. This is my first time watching the video. I just got to hear this truth that this man was speaking on. At least that's what I've been hearing. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got a podcast channel. This podcast channel is with my uh, future fiance. So I need y'all to, you feel me, like go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and uh, hit it up. You feel me? It's in the link box below. I'm on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, whatever. You name it, I'm on it. So without further ado, man, we're going to go ahead and get to this video. This Kevin Gates situation with the BLM, Black Lives Matter. Y'all know how I feel about it. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go, baby. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. How did you deal with that? I had to stand up in their chairs. I'm already a nigga. I'm born guilty. <laughs> I'm a nigga. <laughs> I hear your car smell like weed. Let me search. When I change my people, places, and things, and change my perspective, you know police speak to me like the, it's police that done arrested me and all of that. They speak to me now and say they proud of me. That sounds like the rhetoric that was on that infamous interview that people hated you for. Though. I don't give a fuck what they hate because y'all ain't never committed no crimes. Y'all ain't didn't really did nothing. Y'all don't do nothing but when y'all get, see, they ain't never been in programs. I've been from the juvenile detention system all the way to the to the adult jail. So a lot of the sheriffs and the police and deputies, they was, they, they was prison guards at first. So I know them. Coming there, getting a paycheck before they was road deputies and all of that. So we, I ain't been knowing me since I was a kid. In and out, this bitch revolving door. Ain't nothing to do in Louisiana but go to jail or die. It's tough. Same thing with Chicago. I don't care what people don't like. They got mad when I said I don't support Black Lives Matter. Cause who they matter to? We kill each other all day. We talk about each other all day. You know who talk about me the most on the internet? Niggas. Exactly. Look. Man, I swear, bro, I, this comment that I got years ago, it probably was like a year or two ago, but I got this one comment. He was like, how you going to doubt your own race? How you going to do this to your own race? Blah, 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 blah. You're just a white, you're the white man pet or something like that. They said something like just ridiculous. Okay. It threw me like, <laughs> threw me by far. I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't support, I don't support Black Lives Matter because I feel like, look, race is culture. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the color of your skin, it has history behind it. Everybody color of their skin has some type of history behind it. Not just black lives and the, and these these black these black kids, these young blunt, young black people, these even older people. They got this mindset of, "Oh, we the only people that 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 went through hell. We the only people that went through hell." No, we did not. It's so many other races that went through hell, bro. And that, that's why I don't support the Black Lives Matter cuz I feel like it's pointless. I feel like what do I need to support? this organization for when I feel like every life matter. You know what I'm saying? I feel like every life matter. God created all of us, everybody, everybody matter. The most people that talk the most mess on the internet to another black brother is another black brother. Simple as that. I don't get, I, I barely, I barely, I kid you not, about 2% of my comments. Maybe, maybe I'll give it 10%. 10% of my comments, and I get a lot of comments a day. 10% of my comments is probably a white man hating on me. 90% or probably half of it is probably some black guy that's that's hating on me because I don't do this or say that I'm this or say I'm that. Bro, I'm telling you, this is this, this is the truth. This is why I, I don't support Black Lives Matter because like he said, we kill each other. What's the point of supporting an organization when we kill each other? We kill our own race. We can't even support our own people when they when they open up businesses. 
And when we do, y'all only, y'all, y'all, this is what y'all do. Y'all, y'all support a black business and y'all only say, oh, I'm gonna support a black business. Like black businesses just can't blow. It's a lot of black business that just can blow. Why you can't support a white business? Why can't support a, 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 a white granny baking cakes or something? Like why you can't do that? But if a black person do it, you'll support it. Like my point is, bro. Race is just culture, bro. We I don't look at race. I don't look at race. Everybody color they skin got uh some type of history behind it. Simple as that. I don't look at color, bro. And that's why I don't support Black Lives Matter, period. I agree with Kevin Gates, man. I don't agree with him on a lot of situations. You know, we got different we don't I, I it's not about religion or anything, but I know we have our different beliefs or the or the way that we do believe, but I don't allow that to to separate me uh agreeing with something good that he has or something good that he says you feel me like i just don't let that separate anything <laughs> niggas you know what's worse than a nigga two of them <laughs> make you don't want to be a nigga yeah man it don't be no it don't be nobody else talking about me it be niggas my own people that look like me talk about me like a dog kick me when i'm down can't wait <laughs> look, look, look at gates went to jail they celebrated clapped their hands it was happy I don't look at color and see race no more. I see real and fake. That's it. Woo. Even when I see police, what's up, big man? Don't work. Whoa, that's a freaking bar. I don't look at color no more. All I see is real and fake. That's a freaking bar, bro. Too hard. <laughs> did, 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 I'm gonna try not to, Gates. Did, did it affect you that it was it was somebody of your own color that sent you? To, to the institution. You know how niggas go to jail? Cause niggas tell on niggas. <laughs> it's a 98% conviction rate amongst blacks. They tell. You ain't know that? That's what niggas do. They just talk good as a bitch. That's all they do. They so, tell. So you don't feel like it's like, you know, it's us versus the white man. Or man, we was system. taught wrong. We was taught wrong. Don't no motherfucking white man to pick my motherfucking destiny. I was in my own way. I was self sabotage I gotta take accountability for me. And, and that's one thing about black people. We don't take accountability for our actions. We always blame it on the white man. Oh, I'm not gonna work for this. I'm not gonna work for the white man. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. They always feel like the white man has all type of control when they don't. Literally, so many people are so brainwashed. They're walking around this earth so brainwashed. They don't even know how dumb they be sound. They don't even know how much of a fool they are because of what they've been taught. And instead of doing deeper research into what they've been taught, they don't do deeper research. They listen to what the schools tell them. They listen to what society tell them because at the end of the day, society wants us to separate. Government wants us to separate. It's, they don't want us to be united. I feel like if everybody started looking at race and just look at like what Kevin Gates said, real or fake, simple as that. Look at people as okay. Is they real or is they fake? Simple as that. I don't like. I I never seen race since I've been a kid. I never seen race. You white, you my brother. You black, you my brother. You Hispanic, you my brother. I don't just call black people my brother. Simple as that. We all brothers and sisters in Christ. At the end of the day, believe what believe what you want to believe. But that's the truth. Kevin Gates speaking facts right now. I got to. Nah, I don't celebrate Halloween and all that and call about the pumpkin because I know from slavery, you know. My my ancestors were slaves, so I know what the pumpkin stand for. When they used to hang us and put the pumpkin on top out here, really? I'm not inviting that energy into my life. Yeah, that's what that is. That Jack O'Lantern. That's a nigga. I never knew that. See, I, I I ain't gonna lie. I know a lot. I got a lot of wisdom, but that's something I never knew. I'm gonna do some research on that because I'm not gonna listen to just what everybody say. Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not how everybody else walked this. Or they listen to exactly what everybody says. They do deeper research, but I'm gonna look at deeper research because I never knew that, bro. Hung. Yeah, he put the punk up and gouge his eyes out. Everything. Put the pumpkin over his head and carve the bitch up. That's what that did. Him hanging from a tree. You know, I don't celebrate that. But did this white dude right here next to me? Did he do that to me? He ain't did that to me. And if he do, I bowed him to the floor. What's that? I'm, I'm a die trying. So I'm just saying, like, we was taught wrong. We be having this, man, man, watch out for the white man. Man, it wasn't, I, I ain't never had no problem with no white. It been niggas. Bro, I can see. And people thought I was crazy. People thought I was freaking crazy when I was saying that stuff, bro. People literally thought I was crazy when I said, bro, I never came across any disrespectful white guy. I never came across anybody that was disrespectful, like that was the opposite color. But bro, I would go to the store 
and I will, I will like feel me. I'll probably walk past a past a black person or something like that. It, it's been times where I'll like I'll be like, excuse me. Or if they, like, I feel like they hear, heard me, but I still walk through. You know how you like, it's like a tight squeeze, but you, you say excuse me, but they don't move, so you still walk through. You know what I'm talking about? Instantly. Boy, what? But excuse you? Like, they instantly get to get heat up like, man, no need for all that. I do it to a white person. Hey, bro, nothing's said. Nothing said. You know what I'm saying? I'll probably say my apologies. I'm sorry. My bad. But this is what I'm saying, bro. It's always problems with just black brothers, bro. Black people, that's, that's, we are the problem. When we go realize that, that we are the freaking problem. We are the reason why we we are the reason why we are always getting locked up. We don't we don't cooperate with police. We do what we want to do. Police say do this. We feel like nah, I ain't gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna die trying this and that because you want to act all big and bad and tough. And then you wonder why so many black people getting killed by police because they're not complying with the police. If you just comply and do what you gotta do, you will get out the gym. Simple as that. If you got a little bit of weed on you, just say, hey, officer, I got a little bit of weed on me. Some officers might give you a pass. But nah, we want to we wanna beat around the bush and say, I ain't getting out no comment. Just do too much, bro. It, ain't, it, don't, need, it, it don't take all that. It, it really don't. When we go hold, we got to hold ourselves accountable, bro. We are the problem. Look at the news. Look at the news. Some 17-year-old black boy just shot some 13-year-old black girl because he was aiming for somebody that he used to play football with, but she was in the way of the bullet. And paralyzed, and paralyzed that little girl from, the, from, from literally the waist down. Like, just paralyzed her. She's paralyzed for the rest of her life. Black people shooting another black person. Why we just can't get it alone? It's not the white man, bro. And I look, I like, like, it's crazy. Like, even in jail, I'm like, okay, we gonna stick together and ride in this bitch. They giving the black people cold food. Man, when we stood up in that bitch, come on, let's scuffle. Let's, we gonna fight with the police. Come on, let's. When they came in there with them guns, them fucking baby powder guns, them, you know, that fox spray and all that, you know what them niggas did me? They all went got in their rack. It was me, probably two other black dudes and a Mexican. The warden even told me, I respect you, you're a man. Start sticking by yourself. See, we was taught wrong. See, I live in reality. I don't live in you showing me a graphic image of somebody and saying, oh, God, man, we got to just we gotta just World War III. Because y'all ain't bought all that. Because soon they come out there with them, them, them pepper spray and them guns, you know what a nigga get to doing? Running. Let me see you die for it since you believe mm. in it so much. See, niggas just talk good as a bitch, man. Mm. That's why it's real and fake. I don't know what color a real person going to be. I don't know what color a fake person going to be. How, how you know somebody real? They do real things. Ooh. How you know somebody fake? They do the fake, fake shit. Thing. They do whole shit. People hate when you, when you say shit like that because they're like, I don't they, care. They, they I don't be, care what be people a, a say. Group thing I don't like, care what people say because I'm really a gangster. What I look like arguing with a rapper or a goofy? I'm not tripping on that. I'm a gangster and a gentleman. That's they want you to believe, man. The the the, the cold of the streets is killer. Be killed. That's not true. It's live and let live. Now, if you violate. We gonna demonstrate right there. Man. Y'all, this man, Kevin Gates, literally was just speaking straight facts. And, and look, black people don't want to hear stuff like this because they don't like to hear the truth. They want to hear, oh, the white man did this. The white people, they took everything from us. They did this. They did that. They want to hear that because what we, what us black people always do is blaming the other race. It's always black versus white, bro. It's never black versus Spanish. Black versus this. It's always black versus white. I'm tired of it, bro. I'm sick of it myself. That's why, like, bro, I don't. I never looked that race. Even before Kevin Gates even said that, man, I never looked that race. Like he said, you never know what race gonna be real and what race gonna be fake. And from from what I've been seeing lately, it been a lot of black people that's been fake to a lot of black people. And I ain't gonna lie, I got a lot of I got a lot of white supporters. Or probably Hispanic, China. I don't know. I got a lot of supporters that's not black because black people don't like to hear me talk about the truth. They don't like to hear me talk about the truth. And it probably be like 15% of my my supporter my support base that is black and that like to hear the truth. Man, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. I'm I'm glad to be back, y'all. I'm so glad to be back. Like I said, check out the podcast. It's in the link description box below. You feel me? Link description box below. Check out the podcast, man. Um 
I'm on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then I will be on YouTube on the second channel. So make sure y'all go ahead and go over there. It's going to be lit, bro. We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, bro. Stuff that I talk about on this channel going to be put to that channel, but we're going to be bringing more lost people onto the channel to change their mind. You feel me? That's, that's the type of podcast that we on. You feel me? But uh, anyways, man, I love y'all, man. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.